Hey. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, one point that I, I keep meaning to bring up. Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think she's doing a wonderful job as a congresswoman. Uh, something to do with uh, supposedly multi-stream media, all these outlets, whatnot, mocking her, everything. Um, you know, just like our uh, Bobert from Colorado. I call her Colt 45 for bringing her gun. You know, junior congresswoman representative uh, from Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, Bobert. But uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, what that young congressman did on the Democrat side, bringing the Guam National Guard, walking behind him down the hall to her office there in, in uh, D.C. This elementary bickering and bantering on the school grounds shit does not belong in our governing body. How, you know, it's like shame on these public servants and these Democrats and these rhinos on the right hand side, all these far left radical agendas and activists, all these twat sticks. How dare that be happening? That's our tax dollars at work for us. Yeah. Pulling. We're gonna. I'm gonna go march down the hall and to Marjorie Taylor Greene's office, and I'm gonna show her what Guam National Guard and we're it's American occupied. It's like, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't some little youngster of the past thirty years in elementary on up through high school and went to college. She is. I, I don't know how old she is. I imagine she's in her forties. I don't want to say she's too old, but she just strikes me as someone that's uh, been around here a little while. <clears throat> so if she didn't know about American-occupied Guam, I mean, what's the big deal? We got Puerto Rico, too. You know, a lot of people don't know about this shit. If you went to school 40 years ago and plus, you probably most likely do or the past, you know, 30 years if they're teaching anything in certain schools. I came from a rural area, so I was already way, way beyond the education of where we live now. Um, my last couple of years of high school here. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. But uh, yeah, we don't need that that second grade bickering and bantering bullshit on the school and on the fucking school grounds at recess shit shame on these congress people shame on these democrats shame on these lefties for mocking marjorie taylor green what a fucking shame shameful acts constantly oh but we all get censored Oh, we're all getting canceled. Eh, shit. You can't cancel this. You can't cancel us. You can't cancel all the things that are already here. And besides, who's canceling everything? The ones that are so stupid and uneducated that they can't even wipe their own asses, let alone figure out what fucking gender they are. These chicks with dicks in the fucking goddamn women's sports that is the most disgusting thing i've ever seen that's bullshit if you're fucking born a male the anatomy of a boy a male there's only two fucking genders occasional occasional hermaphrodite oh my gosh shit someone women's clits are big enough to be small peckers but they're still females so, if you're born with a fucking dick, you do not belong in women's sports. Oh, we got people out here sledding, having fun. I just had to come in and say that. It's like, yeah, I keep forgetting. And, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, doing a great job. Doing a great job, I think. Um, I, I believe she deserves support. I... I have a hard time supporting any politicians because it seems like so many of them bend over the wrong way when they're pushed a little bit instead of stand planted and stand up for our constitutional republic this isn't this has turned into a fucking dictatorship this is like beyond communism it's fucking ridiculous i mean we got woke everyone's all woke we got be less white by coke and shit what the 
balls ever, man. Suck a big old bag of Freedom Dicks is what I say. And that I, I'm getting a big old bag going on that they can all swallow and choke on. Fuck. Cock meat sandwiches and fucking do the human centipede down there in Gitmo for all these fuckers like Pelosi. The Biden administration heals up Camel Toe Harris. AOC. Ilmar, the brother fucker. <laughs> You know, get get uh, Hunter Biden. That motherfucker needs to be locked away, too. All these people, the Clintons, Obamas, all these celebrities, all all the, like, Cardi B, all this shit. I hope Can o Candace Owens is just going to eat her ass. Not literally. <laughs> Candace Owens is just going to eat the... She's going to wreck Cardi B. And I'm glad that Candace Owens is going after suing Cardi B. Yeah, you know what? Take a stand, people, and fucking stay planted. We got roots. Let's not let them wither away and get exposed to sunshine by all these woke little fucking gender-confused little cry-closet fucking bottom surgery little fucktards. Just saying. Just saying. But anyways, yeah, fuck. And, and I really hope that Biden, yeah, I hope that he has a sack of fucking sagginess enough to do that interview, do that live thing with Putin, Vladimir Putin, Russian president. Yeah, let's do it. You know, because I think Putin is actually a, a, a smart enough and man enough person. I don't agree with a lot of these other countries and stuff, but... I think he is a lot smarter. I think Putin's smart enough to realize that we're not going to go just cause a bunch of genocide and fucking nuke the fuck out of us Alaskans and Americans and everything because some potato brain piece of shit that's a child sniffer and been in politics for 48 fucking years stealing Russian fucking speeches back in the 80s and shit word for word. I mean, this guy's never said a damn thing on his own. He's just a puppet with fucking Harris and Pelosi and Schumer's and everyone else's fucking fist up his ass, running his mouth. Yeah, so that that's that's what I got for you right now. I just wanted to bring up the Marjorie Taylor Greene, doing a great job. What uh, that congressman I fucking can't remember his damn name. He's a little punk, bringing in the Guam. Marching in the Guam National Guard to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, what a fucking punk, that little bitch-ass little fucking... That guy's supposed to be called a man? Yeah. Masculinity is dwindling. <laughs> I see it all the time with these limp wrist, noodle arm, little fucking soy latte, bottom surgery, little fucking cry closet, little bastards all woke the fuck out. Hey, be aware... Let's get rid of these things like woke and cancel culture. That's dumb. That's dumb. All these people that are running that shit are fucking useful, stupid idiots. Just turn off the TV and go do something productive. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. I got to get back out and enjoy this day. Plus, I got some herbs to smoke here, okay? <sighs> All right. See you next time.